Hello and welcome back. It's a windy, windy Tuesday. Today is the 29th of November and uh, I'm on Geneva State Forest Lake. I'm uh, looking for a place to be able to catch uh, numbers. Uh, they're, they're, I've never seen quality fish in this lake, but I've got some new lures coming that I want to test. And uh, I'd like to find a place that I can use as a control where I know the bite is on and, uh, and I know there's fish to be caught. So we're going to give this one a shot today and see how we do. And uh, if we do well, the, we'll be back out here when, when those lures arrive. So come on along and let's see what we can make happen. There's a something. It's a little bass. Exactly what we came here for. Down here. That is exactly what we came here for. Caught him on a little black uh, eighth ounce beetle spin. And that's uh, pretty typical of what you can expect to find a whole bunch of in this lake. Uh, I've, I've seen them just by the bucket full come out of here. But it, that's a good sign. Uh, uh, second or third cast that we made out and got a fish. So let's get him back and see if we can get some more. He gone. There's a fish. They're right off the bat. As soon as we switch back to that smaller bait. This may be a brim here, I think. Not a bad one either. And light colored. Hey, he's a pretty one. He gone. Right in the kayak. He hit right under the kayak. There's that one. Bass number two, fish number three. up in the grass again for a minute. He's a little bit better one. He's pretty too. <laughs> He's probably my PB for this lake. <laughs> A 
Well, there's him. Yeah, that's probably my PB for this lake. And he gone. If I can catch a bunch of them like that last one, I feel like this would be the ideal lake to come and, and try out. There's a something. I don't think that's a bass. No. Another bluegill. There's that one. He gone. Yeah, I think this uh this might turn out to be a good place to come and try out those new lures. Oh, and that's actually a much nicer fish. <laughs> He's about the size of that other larger one. Come here. No, he's bigger. He's not as pretty, though. It's that one. Again with the PB for the lake, huh? He gone. There's a, that's another little bass. I thought it was going to be another little bluegill. Get off that stuff. Get off that stuff. I tell you, if, if these were little creek fish, they'd be perfect all day long. There we go. There's that one. There you go. My brother had to work today or out of tried to talk him into coming with me. And I know we'd have had a bucket then because he eats fish like an otter. And he'd have been delighted to keep a bunch of them. a fish. Quick release. He got it. Well, I was going to tie on that little chatterbait, but if this spinnerbait is going to produce, we'll throw it for a little while. Chatterbait in reserve in the arsenal there. <laughs> he 
hit it and waited on me to figure it out. There's that one. Here you go. There's another one. Next cast. He got off. Three casts in a row. And he come off. There's a little fish. Thought it was a brim till he jumped. Right. It's been a minute. that one. Here you go. There's a fish. Let's see if I can keep him on there. He's not the best one we caught all day, but I believe we're going to end the video on this one. And uh, it's like I said before, and, and like I said, if you saw my uh, launches and landings video for this lake, uh, this is pretty typical of what you're going to catch, and you're going to catch a whole bunch of them. Now, we caught a couple of pretty good ones, uh, maybe 12 inches, something like that, uh, earlier. Uh, they go, oh, probably a little less than a pound or so. And the uh, state forest would prefer that you, you, every one of these that you keep, you, you take them out of the pond. You know, throw, uh, like I said, they even told me throw them up in the woods if you want, feed the raccoons. But there's just so many of them in here until uh, this is as big as they get. There's so many, they're stunted. And uh, if I had thought about it when, uh, when I came down here, I would have brought me a bucket and, and would have kept all these out. I guess they'd make a good eating size if you like frying fish. But like I said, we're going to end the video on this one. Get him put back, and uh, I've got to get back across the lake and get loaded up and get out of here before the rain comes in. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, had a great time. We didn't catch any really high quality fish, but we did catch several smaller ones and uh, just had a, a good afternoon of it. And he gone. Y'all take care and we'll see you on the next one.